Hey everyone, happy Tidbit Tuesday. So welcome to beautiful Colorado, and I want to introduce you to my niece who is visiting from Chicago, and she was expecting springtime temperatures. Well, <laughs> by tomorrow, it'll be springtime. <laughs> but uh, we are talking about this concept of consistency, and that's really the topic today in the Tidbit. Mm -hmm. And um, we are talking about how valuable and important consistency is in our work life and also in our personal lives, and how we communicate and connect with other people. And we were talking about how parents really are consistent in child rearing or really should work toward being consistent in child rearing. We also talked about pets and training our pets and how important the consistency is for them. Mm -hmm. And we also talked about how uh, reliant students are mm -hmm. from their teachers and being consistent in how they're supposed to behave and the expectations that teachers have of their students. Mm -hmm. And so my question for Alicia is, what does consistency mean to you? And do you have any examples in your own life related to consistency and the power of it? Absolutely. So for me, it means establishment of patterns within our own lives, how we interact with other people and communicate. Um, a couple of examples I think about is the workplace um, specifically. We spend so much time at work and I am extremely fortunate to work with wonderful colleagues and administrators who value consistency um, in order to establish trust within our relationships throughout every single day. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. We were also talking about how the impact of COVID has had on people's uh, consistency mm -hmm. or the lack of consistency and anytime there's a disruption or uncertainty in people's lives consistency sort of falls by the mm -hmm. wayside because now we're having to establish new ways of communicating or new ways of behaving and acting mm -hmm. and so my question for Alicia too is where does trust mm -hmm. fit into and play a role in consistency that's a great question I think it plays such an intricate role within our relationships and if we're talking about consistency trust goes hand in hand with it if we want predictability and understanding when we communicate with other people that trust is the big piece behind it in order to develop healthy communication and interactions with others yeah that's awesome so the big question uh, to wrap this up <laughs> is how do we return or recreate consistency in our businesses or in our relationships mm -hmm. so that it limits the surprises and uncertainty in our own lives? Yeah, that's a great question. I think everybody wonders about that too mm -hmm. because we're, in a, we're still in a place of uncertainty mm -hmm. and disruption. And so I think a good place to start is just to start. Mm -hmm. Start, you may have to start over, but setting a standard of behavior and actions that align with our values, whatever your values are, are, are in, mm -hmm. in order to reduce the unknown in times of disruption. It's mm -hmm. important to return to a place of consistency to, so that our lives and connections with others remain strong mm -hmm. and resilient. So, hey, happy Tidbit Tuesday, and I'll see you next week. Bye.